In recent news, the United Kingdom has witnessed a series of protests by climate activists affiliated with the Just Stop Oil movement, who have taken aim at valuable works of art in prominent galleries. These incidents have raised concerns about the protection of national treasures and the role of art institutions in addressing environmental issues. The first incident that gained widespread attention occurred at the National Gallery, where climate activists targeted the iconic Rokeby Venus painting. This act of protest aimed to draw attention to the gallery's perceived complicity in environmental issues, particularly in connection with oil production. The protesters' actions involved smashing the glass protecting the painting, which has led to significant discussions about the extent to which such protests can be justified, and the consequences they might have on the preservation of art and culture. It's not just the National Gallery that has become a focus of these protests. The National Portrait Gallery also witnessed a similar incident. In this case, the activists targeted a painting housed there. These acts of vandalism have left many questioning the effectiveness of such methods in bringing about environmental change. The Just Stop Oil movement, which has been gaining momentum, is advocating for the immediate cessation of oil production and consumption. Their argument is that the continued reliance on fossil fuels is contributing to climate change and environmental degradation. However, their approach of targeting renowned artworks has sparked a significant debate. Critics argue that while climate activism is essential, damaging valuable pieces of art is not the way to achieve meaningful change. They believe that these actions risk overshadowing the movement's message and alienating potential supporters. Art institutions, on the other hand, are faced with the challenge of finding a balance between preserving their collections and addressing environmental concerns. Some argue that galleries and museums should use their influence to support climate action and sustainability in ways that don't jeopardize their invaluable works of art. In response to these incidents, art institutions have reinforced security measures to protect their collections. This has raised questions about the financial burden these institutions must bear in order to protect their artworks from potential threats. So, the Just Stop Oil movement's recent protests targeting famous artworks in the UK have ignited a contentious debate. While their passion for addressing climate change is commendable, the methods they have chosen have sparked concerns about the preservation of art and culture. As discussions continue, it remains to be seen whether these protests will lead to meaningful change or if alternative approaches will be necessary.